Hey what's up guys, it's Roy Sandy here and today we'll be learning how to install Mavericks OS X on any Mac running El Capitan or Yosemite. For this installation, all you'll need is a USB that has 8 gigs of internal storage or more and any Mac that has had Mavericks installed in the past. For this installation, I'll be using my iMac since I've had it since 2012 and Mavericks came out in 2014. If you're not sure, you can always go onto the App Store and click on Purchased and it'll give you a list of all the softwares that you have upgraded to in the past. Now first off, all we have to do is download a copy of Mavericks. This might take over 20 minutes and this is going to be saved in your launchpad or applications folder. So once that's done, we're going to plug in our USB and we're going to go to Disk Utility. From here, we're just going to click on our USB, so for me it's the Lexar, and I'm going to click on Erase, and we're going to make sure it is OS X Extended Journaled and GUID Partitioned, and we just have to go ahead and click Start. So this is going to take about 2 minutes, and we'll get back to you guys soon. Alright, now that we have the USB and the software downloaded, we're going to go ahead into Users and Groups, and if you don't already have a password, you're going to create a new password because you do need one. Um, for the next step which is through terminal so just go ahead and create any password and lock it up afterwards and you're good to go so now at this point we're ready to make the bootable usb so you're going to take a backup of everything that you need because once you install mavericks everything will be deleted so go ahead and open up terminal and you will be pasting this command and that's all you have to do um, once you paste it you will need to type in your password as well the password won't show um, if you guys want for reference, you can always visit this website that I'm basing uh, this tutorial off of. Um, and you guys can also just put in your password. It's not going to show. So once you type that command in, it's going to take about another 20 to 60 minutes. Some people say it can take up to an hour. Uh, at that point, you're ready to install. And once the bootable USB is created, you can take a backup of anything you want and you should be good to go. Alright, so now it's time to shut down and reboot with the USB inside into the bootable disk mode. So once you hear the magical piano sound when the Mac starts up, you're going to hold Alt until you see the disk menu pop up. And let's just wait for that right now. So once you see that, you're just going to click onto the right one for Mavericks and you're just going to click Enter. And then you'll be booting into Mavericks startup screen or Mavericks installer. Now all we have to do is click on disk utility and we're going to be erasing the SSD on this MacBook Air. Um, by default, you want to keep all the settings the same so you don't want to mess up anything on the SSD. And we're just going to click on Erase and keep the settings obviously the same and we'll get back to you once this is done. Now it's the easiest part. All we have to do is click on Install OS X and we just have to go to the installation screen. This part is pretty straightforward. Just have to click Accept. Uh, there are two parts to this installation. The first part is uh, this, but we have to click our Macintosh HD drive. Don't click the USB, that obviously wouldn't make sense. You want to install Mavericks to your current hard drive or SSD in your Mac. Um, if you have more than two, then obviously you can choose which one you want. And now we all, all we have to do is wait for the installation. Alright, that definitely took a good 30 minutes and it just booted back into the installation screen and the installation just continued. So once it boots, don't go through the alt, the holding the alt button process, just let it boot regularly and it will continue and you'll be into Mavericks. So this is basically the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helped you a lot. If you need any help, leave a comment down below or email me and I'll be sure to get back to you. See you guys later.